Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I am filming literally on a bench because I decided to redo my office. And I know you like, girl, didn't you just do your office a couple of months ago? Yes, but the furniture wasn't given what it was supposed to be given. So I decided to go in another direction. So I'm waiting for a few pieces to get in. I'm very excited about that. So yes. So, woo. okay, but today we are coming back because this is the first paycheck of, it, of January. Um, I'm excited. I am excited about January. I am excited about sharing January's budget with you guys. I feel like this is the year to save money, focus, and really have our ducks in a row. So I'm really, really excited about that. So, as usual, did I tell y'all this? My name is Keith. This is Keith's Playing Life. This is my channel. So, as usual, we're going to put it here. And we're going to start with January's budget. If you hear noise, they are mowing the yard outside. And there are kids outside playing. And my house just happens to be by the park and I could not wait to film this video. I need to get it edited. It's today is Saturday. Y'all know I upload on Sundays. So I could not wait. So here it is. So please ignore any noise you may or may not hear. Okay, so as you can see, January's budget. And if you see me looking over here, I'm looking at my um, laptop. So we're gonna start with the things that I wanted to do for January, I wanted to order my furniture for my office, which I did. I wanted to pay on Afterpay, which I have started, um, and put something on vacation, which I haven't done yet. So what we can do is I'm going to check those off. So um, my goals are to save um, minimal eating out. Um, this week, I ate out. I only spent money last week one time, but I plan to do, me and my husband are doing a 28 day challenge, so I will not be eating out for 28 days. So, um, also low buys, and you probably like, girl, how you doing low buys and you just bought furniture? So, technically, the chairs that I have coming are chairs that my son and my daughter got for my birthday. Um, the only thing I bought was the shelving units and I spent $200 on that and I was like, that was my birthday gift to myself. So yeah, I, y'all, I tried to stay as low as possible on that, on buying those shelves because I did not want to overspend and I knew I was on a low buy. So it was kind of hard. It was hard. I'm not going to lie. It was very much so hard. So my savings and sinking funds, my household um, sinking funds, which is the spending account for like toilet paper, deodorant, all those things, $207. The personal savings this month, I want to save at least $300. The emergency rainy day this month, I want to save at least $379. The Christmas fund, I want to save at least $50. Um, and that gives us a total, if we do that, it gives us a total of saving $655 this month. It says our major money goal is 600 so if I can at least save 600 655 is what I want to do, but if I can at least save 600 I will be okay with that. Um, so the budget. The total income on the budget was $3,998. The extra expected income was $0. The total bill expenses was $2,000. 307 but I really think it was more than that and I'm gonna tell y'all why in a second but that's all the bills okay 
it definitely was more than that because I didn't include the savings in here. So it was definitely, definitely more than that. But this is just the budget of things that I have to pay monthly that never change, that are always the same. So that equaled up to $2,306. So the rent is still $9.78. The energy bill, this is our last month of having a credit. Um, so it was zero dollars. The Xfinity Mobile is three hundred and thirty nine dollars because I added my daughter to my plan, and I also added my son to the plan as well. Um, let me see. The Xfinity Internet is seventy one dollars. Center Point is fifty six. Canva is fourteen. Um, car insurance it actually went down to two nineteen. So I'm really excited about that. I don't know why I didn't adjust it. Um, well, by the time y'all see it, it will be adjusted. But it went down to 219. Capital One, y'all know I paid a minimum on my credit cards. Although one of the credit cards I will be paying the uh, be paying more on it, and you'll see it once I do the pay paycheck breakdown. Um, YouTube went up. Because I am not a student anymore. So YouTube went up to $22. Household supplies, $207. Um, I know the household supplies is also over there on the savings and sinking fund. But as far as um, that, that is something that is done every month without question. We might not be able to save every month. But that household fund gets taken care of every month because we need toilet paper. We need toothpaste. We need um, paper towels we need washing powder and stuff so that is mandatory that's like a bill every month um vacation i do plan on putting some on our vacation i'm going to put 50 dollars on there and after pay i will be paying 200 although i think i paid more than 200 so far i i will be paying 200 this month so that is that um let's see what else we can get into the savings challenge okay so far I've only saved $7.76. And that is partially my fault, my fault if I'm having an honest moment. Because I I was getting in the habit of checking my account every month. I mean, at the end of the day, every day. And then I stopped. Because here's the thing. Some of the transactions don't clear out right away. So what I do is I wait till the end of the week now. And at the end of the week, I go in. I see like on like on like tonight. Tonight I will go into my account, see if there's an odd number um, on the balance. If there is, I'll transfer it to my savings. So my personal savings, I've been really satisfied with that. I'm satisfied with my rainy day fund too, but I did dip into that a little bit. Although I'm finna get ready to put the money back because like in a couple of days it'll be right back. But I wish I wouldn't have touched it at all. But it was something that came up that I had to touch it for. So, yeah, that is our uh, January's budget at a glance. That is what we are doing for January. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, the next video you will see will be our um, paycheck breakdown. Um, I'm really not going to be spending money um this month i pretty much got everything i wanted for my birthday my, i told my kids i wanted the chairs they got my chairs i got the two shelving units that should be here um either monday or tuesday i'm content with that i don't think i i don't yeah i didn't i haven't ordered anything or bought anything i think the last thing i bought before the year was up was i stocked up on some lashes so i don't have to buy lashes like that yeah i mean i these right here made me fight today, but they came out looking really, really good. At least they look good on camera, but they came out looking very, very nice. But <laughs> but I stocked up on my lashes, so I won't have to keep buying lashes. I stocked up on my lash glue, so I won't have to keep buying lash glue. So um, right now, I'm just in the midst of seeing all the things I already have in my home and seeing what I can do with those things. How can I incorporate those things? Do I need to go out and buy more things? Um, and so far, no. What I'm finding is that I'm actually ending up getting rid of things. Like the coffee table that was in my office. I'm getting ready to get rid of that because it's pretty big and it's taking up space. I don't want this room to look cluttered. 
Um, so the two chairs are going to go here and in the middle there's going to be a cute little round smaller table. And we're going to keep it like that. Um, just because I'm trying to decide if I want to start something with hubby. I haven't quite decided but um, we're, we've been playing with the thought of it. So I'm just waiting to see what our decision is going to be on that. So this table is actually going to go to my son. And then I have a massive big big entertainment center table it's not that massive um but it's pretty big and at one point it was my tv on there but my office now has because i bought a way bigger tv it's now hung up on the wall in the office and i moved my um my vanity around and put it under there because when I'm doing my makeup, I'm listening to music. I'm not watching TV. So I just thought that was the perfect place to put the makeup station. So, yeah. Um, just really going and looking over things and, like, trying to see what I need to buy, what I don't need to buy. You guys know that I have decided that I will not be purchasing any clothes this year. Any clothes, any shoes, unless they're heels. And they have to be worth my, like, um, Steve Madden has some cute 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 heels that i've been eyeing i'm waiting for them to go on sale because i'm not gonna pay the full price for them but if those heels go on sale i'm gonna cop those heels but for the most part i will not be buying clothes or tennis shoes um i still have a pair of joys i just bought three months ago that i haven't even taken out the box yet to wear so i am not in a business of even trying to buy any uh shoes right now that is bothering me oh, i see why it was bothering me so, um, yeah, even with handbags and purses, I'm finding that I don't even wear my bags like that, especially during the week because I'm mostly just carrying my wallet because it's smaller and it's compact and I'm at work and I can lock it up in my drawer. So I'm not really wearing my handbags except on the weekend. So there's no reason for me to purchase any handbags right now. I'm learning to decide which perfumes I, I'm liking. So I'm not buying perfumes or anything right now because I have tons on each side of the room. Tons of perfume that I still own. If you guys would like to see a perfume collection, leave a comment below and I will do a um, video on my perfume collection. So yeah, um, I am going to get out of here. This video has been long enough. We need to get into our paycheck for um the first part of january so that will be the next video coming up i thank you guys for watching and holding me down and holding me accountable i am really trying to make this year one of the best years like last year was great but i'm trying to make this year one of the best years um just trying to do something different so yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Remember to think smart, spend smarter, and have fun planning it all out. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.